Hey, Bones. So a couple days ago, I got a DM from somebody who said that they had heard me talk about bad players. Can you get into more details of that? Because I suck and playing team games and raids are a pain for me because I don't like talking to people. I just want to play the game solo if possible, but realize I can't. Now they had heard me talk about bad players in the context of a conversation about boosting. Someone else had brought up the argument that if you pay real money to level your character, it's more likely you'll be bad because you'll end up with a ton of high level skills that you have no idea how to use. Now that's of course assuming you don't take the time to you know, read the tooltips and figure it out. But I had countered that by saying that you can absolutely be bad without boosting. Like as far as I know, there's no alternate ending to heaven's word where Harshafon teaches you how to slide cast. But I thought this was a really good question that a lot of new players might want some more clarification on. Like what actually makes you a bad player? What qualifies as good or at least decent? To me, being bad means that you're not only performing like shit, but you also won't listen to anyone. You won't look up guides. You won't read your tooltips. You are willfully ignorant or worse. You've even got such a big ego about how you know everything that you think that there's nothing that any other person could say that could possibly be helpful to you, the one who the universe revolves around, like you think the sun comes up just to hear you crow. I think there's a really big and important difference to be made here between being bad and learning. Because as I'm fond of quoting Jake the dog, sucking at something is the first step to being sort of good at it. I remember being new and I just didn't even know what to focus on or what was important. And my attention, I'm a little bit scatterbrained anyway, naturally. And so my attention was all over the place and I didn't know like what's, what, where to focus it. I was just kind of flying by the seat of my pants <laughs> through the story, having fun wherever I could find it and uh, not stressing too much about anything in particular. But however, whenever I did join a static and there was a helpful person in my group who let me know, hey, do you know your DPS could be a little better? Or hey, do you know that materia is really important? Or hey, did you notice that your dots keep falling off? I didn't know any of that, but once that was brought to my attention and this very helpful person uh, showed me how to use an abacus <laughs> to, to check my damage and stuff like that. Anyway, they, they were very helpful. <laughs> they showed me, uh, like once I got that information, I was very, very receptive to it. And I listened and it helped me become a much better player. Maybe some people would have said I was bad, but I think that I showed a willingness to learn and I was very interested in all the advice I could get my hands on. And I started like watching guides about how to play my job. And um, so I personally, looking back at myself, I wouldn't necessarily say uh, that I was a bad player, even if I was playing kind of bad at the time. I think that might be another important distinction to make. I mean, I feel like it's a little bit too final to call somebody, oh, you're a bad player, because it sounds like there's nowhere to go from here. Like this is just a label that you have on yourself and you can't grow out of it. Instead, I prefer to say, you know, maybe I, I'm playing bad. I am playing bad on Samurai right now. It's kind of like how my dad used to say, you're being an idiot. Instead of saying, you're an idiot, he would never, never do that. And he would say, look, I'm not gonna, I'm not calling you an idiot, but you're being an idiot. You're acting like an idiot right now. You're acting like one. And I feel like that might be the same kind of logic I'm applying here in a lot of cases to players who are not doing the best <laughs> on a job, but it's like only right now. And it's natural, it is a natural step in the progression be towards becoming a little better. You can't skip over that step of sucking. Oh, well, I mean, maybe some extremely, extremely good players can, but most of us can't. We gotta wade through it and not be too, too hard on yourself or shame yourself too much uh, while you're moving through that. And uh, you know, it might even be helpful for you to be able to identify when you are performing poorly on a job or if there's some jobs that you are doing a little better on than other jobs so that way you you can improve because like I said before the players who are straight up bad are the ones who don't want to improve they are willingly refusing help they are not listening and they're just stuck they are really stuck in that rut and that's why I would label them as bad because I mean where can they go if they don't want to help themselves
being able to tell which jobs you are doing good at, which jobs that you could use a little help on, that is going to be, uh, that's, that's good. That's something that would separate you from someone who is straight up bad. And uh, remember, too, that being bad or playing badly now on a certain job doesn't mean you're going to be bad on that job forever. And it doesn't mean that you're bad at every job in the game or the game as a whole. You know, I mean, I think I'm pretty decent on Dancer, but if you put me on Samurai, you put me on Ninja, I'm going to play like crap. And that's, that's okay. I don't feel bad about that. I feel like it would kind of be boring if I just woke up and it was immediately amazing at every job. I mean, that's not very fun. Part of the fun for me is the process of learning all there is to know about a job and practicing it and like watching how you're getting better and better. Like that's exciting. That should be part of the enjoyment of play. Uh, at least it is for me. Some of the ways that you can gauge how you're doing overall is ask yourself, have I been able to clear quest battles, like solo instances on their intended difficulty? Okay, like if you can only clear these solo duties on easy mode or very easy mode, I hate to say it, but you are not doing well on the job that you're playing. That's assuming that your, uh, your gear is, is decent. Like if your gear is around the right item level that you would need for that solo duty and you're failing it on, unless you put it on easy or very easy, it's clear that either you need to work on your rotation because you're not, you're not able to meet even the most basic DPS checks in there. Um, you're not listening to what the NPCs are telling you to do, or you don't know how certain mechanics work. Like uh, this, it, you've got to be able to make it through these uh, quest battles on uh, the normal difficulty. Also, check how you're doing on Stone Sky C. I know it's not perfect. I complain about it all the time, but especially if you're a healer, like it's it's not super good at all if you're a healer. Um, but it is a solid tool just to check how your rotation is. I mean, if you can get the duty to under 10% on minimum item level, you can rest assured that you're performing quite well and you're doing more than enough for the normal or hard mode content at least. One sign of a good player, and this is especially true of Sprouts, is you know being able to take note of mechanics, what they look like, and remember that and respond accordingly in the future. That's one of the things that I think leveling normally and not boosting will um, help you a lot with because you will have to go through a bunch of different dungeons and as you go through them, you'll start to recognize the patterns of the different mechanics. And uh, it's okay if you mess it up the first few times, you know, you know, first two or three or four even times, but <clears throat> if you see these same mechanics over and over and over and over and you keep dying every single time, that's not good. You need to check and see like what's going on. Am I not noticing the mechanic going off? Am I like tunneling? There's no shame though, I think, in dying to mechanics that you've never seen before. And look, we all make mistakes. We all derp from time to time. There are definitely been times when I have failed to a mechanic that I had seen. And that's a point when I usually ask myself, hey, uh, am I really tired right now? Do I need a break right now? Why did that happen? Do I need to focus a little harder? You know, you need to be able to self-reflect on that and not immediately point the finger at somebody else. Like, oh, it was actually their fault. Like usually when something goes wrong, the first question I ask is what could I have done better? Was it me? Was it my fault? Or did I ever do everything all right? But there are some people who, and I would call these people bad players, people who the last person that they would point at is themselves when they got it backwards. You're the first person you need to check because uh, you're the only person you actually really have any control over. So it's a little crazy for me when people don't check themselves at all, are not interested at all in how they're doing, are quite lazy with their approach and their attitude to the game, and yet they go into a group content and they expect everything to go smoothly because they expect everybody else to have done their research and to know what's going on, you know? And it, by the way, you know, you don't have to min-max to be good. You don't have to be like a super pro at your job or anything to do most of the content that is in the game. Having a general idea of how your job works, how your spells work together is not rocket science. It's not something that's going to take you five hours of YouTube tutorials to figure out. Like literally just spend a little time if you got some questions and ask some people in your FC or hell, even in my Discord server. And uh, there's, all, there's many people that will help you figure it out. It's not going to be. I think some people just build it up so much in their mind that they think, oh my god, this this game is so complicated and there's so much to learn and it's also complex and it's so in-depth that I'm never gonna be able to figure it out. So it just, I, I think some people get intimidated and they push away from even learning the most basic things about their job that are really not hard 
to get down, you know? People kind of get into this mode of it's one or the other. It's either I'm going to chill and be, be like more or less lazy and not pay attention to what's happening on my screen. Or I have to be like this super, super, super high end and I need to like be the best and I've got to min max and like, oh, I've got to be super into it. It really isn't one or the other. It's more or less like a, a spectrum between one side and the other side. It's really better uh, <laughs> if some people would make more of an effort to you know, put in a little effort instead of getting uh, super intimidated by their perception of how difficult or complex things will be to learn. It can take weeks or months to become incredibly good at the job you are playing, but in the meantime, you can be, you can be quite good. I mean, you can be all right. <laughs> you can be decent. You can be an asset to your team. You can be someone that people want to have around, that people want to invite to their groups. It doesn't take a whole lot of work to get to that point. This is a fairly simple video. I just wanted to get my thoughts out to reply to this person who asked me, uh, what is my definition of a bad player? Because uh, as I said, I think there's a difference between someone who is a bad player because they just are, don't care about getting better. And there's someone who might just be bad at the job they're playing right now. And that is okay. It's okay to be temporarily bad so long as you are actively working towards becoming a little bit less bad because it's natural to have that bad step in the learning process as we've been over. The learning process is good. It's something to be embraced. It's not something to be afraid of. It's not something to get super defensive about either or, be, or to shame yourself about because uh, it shouldn't take too long for you to go from bad to half bad. <laughs> Maybe go to from half bad to like decent, good, okay, all right. But I really think that every single player has the capability to improve to the point that they can do all of the high-end content in the game. I really do think that. And I think that I have probably even a more charitable opinion on this than a lot of other players might. But I have a background as a teacher, and um, I think that certain people just give up on themselves way too soon, and they don't see the potential within themselves. And so a lot of times through this YouTube channel, I try to encourage people to jump out of their comfort zone a little bit, challenge themselves a little more, and they would be surprised by how much improvement that they will see. But I want them to enjoy the process of improvement as well. I think the only thing that will keep you playing bad and that will prevent your progress that will hurt you more than anything else is you. Is you either not believing that you can do better or you refusing to look critically at what went wrong and asking yourself if you had any part in what, what went wrong, if, you, uh, if there's anything you could have done better, if there's anything you could change uh, or adjust to, to do a little better. Are there any aspects of the game that you would consider yourself to be quite bad at? <laughs> Do you remember, like, are you good at a job? Are you good at something in the game? But you remember a time when you were not so good at it and what helped you move from there to where you're at now? I think that might be really helpful for people to hear about in the comments section down below. If you like this video, please consider supporting the channel on Patreon or on Twitch. You can also support the channel for free by clicking the subscribe button or by sharing this video with your fellow warriors of light. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.